Previously on Big Brother, hey what's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm back with my latest review of Big Brother. This was for Sunday, August 3rd, 2014's edition. It is, I believe, episode 18 of season 16 of Big Brother, if uh, that is correct, I'm pretty sure. Uh, basically what I do is... I do recaps of everything that happened. I make a bullet point list on Notepad on my computer. And then I kind of interject my opinion as I recite it back to you, the viewer. Um, there are tons and tons of spoilers. This is basically 100% spoilers with a little interjection here and there. So if you have not watched this episode, please pause this and go back and re-watch it. Or watch it for the first time, whatever. So I don't want to ruin, that's the last thing I want to do is ruin uh, the episode for you. So basically, like I was saying, I do like a notepad list here. Um, and I basically talk about it. So keep that in mind. So once again, pause this video. If you've not seen the episode, you don't want any spoilers. Or if you can't get an hour in to watch the episode, you can watch my video. It's about 10 minutes long, so... Might save you some time. So anyway, previously on Big Brother, America's players needed to go against the house. Uh, their challenge from America and uh, blame other people. But Donnie thought it was too risky and not worth his game in the long run. So they opted to not do it. Uh, so they failed their mission. Hayden, Nicole, Zach, Donnie, and Caleb were the final five contestants left during the head of household competition. Before it ended on the previous episode, uh, Thursday. So now... We are continuing from the uh, other night. Uh, so it's going into a tiebreaker question because they went through, I think, 13 uh, different uh, questions earlier. So it's time for time uh, tiebreaker. In seconds, what is the total length of the Giddy Up Veto competition from start to when Hayden hit the button? Uh, the correct answer was 568 seconds. Uh, Nicole and Donnie both got closest scores and are now the HOHs until the Battle of Block, of course. Uh, Nicole is worried to be back as HOH, back-to-back, -back, you know. Donnie is excited to be HOH and wanted to align himself with Nicole. Zach storms out, uh, and he makes this big issue about how, uh, you know, he was so upset about losing and he tried really hard and he messed up his number when in reality it was a joke. He confesses in diary. Uh, he doesn't think it thinks it's he doesn't think it's a good game to win uh, uh, HOH two weeks in a row and all that jazz. So, you know, I I understand that for I understand that, but you know, his attitude is is really starting to bother me. Um, uh, Derek is worried that Donnie may go against Team America, considering the fact that he didn't want to do the the whole challenge in the previous part. Uh, Frankie is worried because it's the first time a detonator isn't an HOH and that means his butt could be on the line. Jacasa is upset she didn't win and talks to Derek. She breaks down and cries about her family and about everything else and uh, Jacasta is definitely on my list of least favorite house guests this season. Uh, she says there's only one guy in the house he trusts and that's Donnie who is HOH. Um, Nicole and Donnie are talking, and Donnie wants to bring in Hayden. Uh, he's smart and has insight. Nicole's like, uh, okay, cool, because <laughs> they're uh, BFFs. Uh, Nicole wants to shake things up. Donnie says Cody, Frankie, and Derek have never been up, so in a way that would be fair to um, the other house guests um, and also keep the blood off their hands because, you know, they're just saying, oh, you guys have never been up. It's only fair. Um... Zach and Amber are talking. Uh, Zach offers to put him up uh, as a reverse psychology, so she won't put him up. I'm sorry, not Amber, Nicole. Uh, I don't know why I put Amber. Um, so Zach and Amber... Oh my god, I said it again. Zach and Nicole are talking. Zach offers to put himself up in a reverse psychology maneuver, so she won't put him up. Last week she was a Fruit Loop dingus. Now you want to be best friends. Uh, Nicole is... While she is cute and bubbly and a little, uh, I don't want to say lightheaded, she's not dumb. And she's fully aware of what Zach's trying to do. Uh, Derek and Frankie are talking. They should be safe with uh, Donnie as their Team America. Uh, and they lost money, or he lost money for them, so they should theoretically be safe. He owes them. Uh, Derek and Nicole talk. She has 
to play. Uh, she won't. She won't throw competitions because she's not stupid. Uh, she says Frankie drives her crazy as he's everywhere, snooping, being in everyone's business, being a social gamer, butterfly. He's friendly with everyone, Derek agrees, but obviously doesn't want to get him out as they're part of Team America, and he's obviously got a conflict of interest. Uh, it's now time to see our HOH rooms. Who wants to see our HOH rooms? Uh, Donnie gets a beardless photo of himself with his girlfriend, who's also beardless, and she's named Christine. Uh, Nicole gets uh, some photos, like Captain Underpants, uh, graduation photo, and Caleb wants Amber's friend, Mariah, who's also in the photo. Nicole gets a letter from Mariah, loves her so hard, being away from her soulmate. Very sweet little letter. Donnie gets a letter from Christine, his girl, fiance. Congrats uh, on doing how well you're doing so far. Uh, he's crying. He misses her kisses and massages. So the crowd or the house guest is like, ooh. Uh, it was a very nice, cute little letter. Uh, Caleb wants to talk to Donnie. He doesn't want to go up, but offers to sort of go up. Uh, Donnie was put up by week one by Caleb. Caleb offers that he won't nominate him if he uh, makes him HOH next week. So, you know, it's, it's a big decision for Donnie to make right there. Caleb says, if you do nominate me, please don't put me up against Victoria. That would be the absolute worst decision uh, for my game plan. Donnie in his diary session is like, well, you shouldn't have told me that there, partner, because that's exactly what I want to do now. Um... Now Nicole and Hayden are playing pool, and she accidentally nut shots him. Uh, it was pretty funny. Uh, Donnie promises uh, she won't. He won't nominate Derek, but can't promise Nicole won't. Uh, Frankie comes in and hugs Donnie. Uh, it's kissing butt. Derek wants Donnie to nominate Victoria and Jocasta, but Donnie likes Jocasta and definitely doesn't want to, you know, hurt his friend. Uh, Hayden, Nicole, and. Uh, they're talking about putting up people. Nicole thinks Donnie should put up Caleb and Victoria. And they think Frankie could potentially be backdoored this week. This would be a huge game maneuver right here. Uh, Zach is uh, in the HOH while Christine and Nicole are talking. Uh, in Diary, he calls her a dingus again, but is kissing butt, trying not to uh, put her put up. You know, it's in her best interest not to do it. He wants Victoria and Jocasta to go up. He's trying to convince her to do that. She tells him she will think about it, but in diary says uh, she will backdoor his best friend, Frankie. She'll keep her word and not put him up, but she'll put up Frankie. Uh, it's now time for nominations. Uh, Nicole puts up Jocasta and Zach. Uh, says Jocasta is way too cute and innocent. Uh, and... Um, Zach is basically, if you look up him in the dictionary... Uh, he'll you'll find a photo of Evil Dick, uh, reminiscent of his speech about Fruit Loop Dingus previous weeks. Uh, Donnie nominates Caleb and Victoria. Uh, he says, Caleb, you were the first person to nominate me. Tit for tat, we are square now. Victoria, your blood is on many people's hands, but not mine. Uh, Zach thinks the speech is stupid in his diary session. Caleb is pissed off at Donnie because he's up against the person he didn't want to be up. And now Caleb's going to be coming for Donnie. <laughs> That'd be a very interesting matchup. Uh, Derek and Nicole are talking about her speech. Frankie comes in, of course. Zach is furious to be put up. Uh, Zach and Frankie are talking about Zanky. Says uh, Victoria and Caleb have no chance. They start to snuggle. Cody turns over his uh, turns over his best, and you know, you gotta wonder. I mean, Zanky is in full force. They're bros. Costa and Zach are talking. We're going to win. Mama J don't play. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, Victoria asked Caleb to talk with her. She says she expected it. They need to communicate to be best friends. Uh, they decide that they're going to be uh, a new team called Beast Mode and Princess. Now time for the Battle of the Block. I just want to say Beast Mode is, and Princess is going to be... Uh, <laughs> Uh, dominoes, teddy bears, and slides, the battle of the block. Um, very kid-friendly, <laughs> Rube Goldberg-esque challenge. Uh, they have to basically create a path of dominoes over various obstacles and reach this big spinner thing. Uh, there are various things like shave your head, slot for two weeks, 
uh, amongst other things uh, that they have to do. Um, they have to basically have like 40 blocks, dominoes that they have to topple over and correctly uh, hit the spinner. Uh, the head of households are on a dunk tank. Uh, the loser of the battle of the block will get dunked. Uh, one of the options is manure bath. No head of household next week option. Uh, Jocasta and Zach decide they have to do it. Uh, Donnie and Victoria are doing a good job. Uh, quiet and doing great. Very concise with each other. Derek says she's now beast mode princess. She hasn't moved like that since Black Friday going shopping. That was really funny. Probably the line of the night. Uh, Zach takes a slot for two weeks. Zach and Jocasta decide to try and uh, hit a, cur a curve, screwed them up, so they reset the stuff, so they're be really behind now. Caleb uh, said it's now or never, and they hit it, and they win. The dominoes all fall, and Donnie gets dunked. Slot for two weeks, shaved head, and Adam and Eve. They have a fig leaf bathing suit and a fig leaf bind for 24 hours. That uh, Caleb and... Um, Caleb, is it going to be attached to? And, uh, you know, you know, I, there's worse people I'd be would want to be attached to than Victoria. So I don't think Caleb's going to have a hard time being attached to Victoria. So that's basically my quick recap and review. Had a good time with the episode once again. I love watching this show. I love talking about it with all you guys in the group. So thanks so much for watching. Please follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, at London Hawthorne, and talk more about Big Brother. Have a good day.